Have any of you guys stepped in a big, huge puddle of mud or big piece of dog poop or, in my case, a few too many baseball games? Well, I don't want you guys walking around with shoes that look fossilized, so I'm going to show you guys how to clean your shoes. Cleaning your shoes is quite a simple task, and the reason I like to keep my shoes nice and clean, well, not these ones apparently, but um, the reason I like keeping my shoes nice and clean is because my dad is a clean freak when it comes to your feet. I mean, absolute clean freak. If you guys have ever been in my house, which I don't think any of you guys have, but uh, if you guys have ever been in my house, every, every time you put on your shoes, he makes you clean off your socks before you put it in so your socks aren't dirty and stinky. So that's the reason I like keeping all my shoes clean is just so I can kind of have them shut up once in a while. So now that I told you guys my little life story, time to get started. So step one, you want to take these shoes and you're going to want to take off all these laces here. So I was thinking of not taking off these laces because I do have practice after this and we're going to have some soaked twos, but just for this demonstration and for you guys because you guys are pretty special to me, I will take them off for you. So when you're done taking off all these laces, you're just going to want to so when you guys are done taking all these laces, you just want to flop them right in your water. Set them in there. It's kind of like just like a normal dry or washer. Before you put them in the washer, you nice you get a nice soak on them. So now you got your laces all out. Put your laces around this water so let them soak. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. So now you got all your, your shoes are nice and accessible. So once you got all that good, you want to take your Dawn dish soap. Now some people use actual shoe cleaner. I like to keep it simple. I was watching a few videos back on YouTube. Because I used to be a little sneaker right back in like sixth grade. I would always buy shoes. I always like to keep them clean and stuff. So I was I definitely didn't have the money for all that expensive shoe cleaner, so I just found a different way. Use dish soap. This is, works just as good. I'm gonna get some of that in there. So now that you got that in there, I'm just gonna wanna mix it up. Get nice and soapy. Now you guys got all that good. Let's add a little bit more. It's already empty. It might as well throw. All right. So you guys are going to want to take your brush. You want to mix it in here a little bit. My little trick is I just like leave leave these in here while I'm cleaning. Soak them at the same time while I clean my. Oh boy. What's going on? Clean them at the same time while you're cleaning your shoes. So cleaning your shoes is pretty easy. So you want to take this brush, get it nice and soapy, get it watery. And the way I like to do it, I like to take these bottoms first because obviously you have a little lot of gunk and dried mud. You want to take it and go in circles. It's nice and just nice circles. Well, some people like being nice and gentle with it. I don't really. I like keeping it rough. Normally I would have a hard bristled brush, which is a little bit easier to get this gunk out, but I cannot find it. I honestly think I kind of lost it, I'll be honest with you. Once all your soap starts coming off, you just want to get some more on there. Just keep, keep, just keep scrubbing. Just keep scrubbing, just keep scrubbing. And once in a while, I'm just going to take off all that water. Use your hands. Not your hands, like use your hands with this little towel. I want to suck off. No, she's dirty. Now, one tip I have with cleaning your shoes. I would do it around like once every two weeks. 
Honestly, I didn't keep up with my own tips because I, I don't think I've cleaned these in about five months. It's been around five months since I cleaned these last. And my dad has been on my behind about it. I'm sure you guys could ask Brielle about that. In fact, they're always yelling at me after my games. You gonna clean your shoes? I'll tell them I'll get on it, but it never really happened. No, if you wait five months like I did, all of this dried mud is gonna be a little bit hard to get off, which, you know, probably isn't the best. I probably should have waited five months, but I was thinking of you guys and I waited five months just for the speech. That's, that's what I told my dad at least. So the present part. There we go. Now this part, this part, I like to throw in the dishwasher. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> not the dishwasher, the washing machine. And you wanna get in some bleach or something. Cause it's a little bit harder than just this material. Cause this material, it soaks in there. So it's just a little bit harder. You could probably take like the same approach as your laces and just let it soak for a while. You know what, you know what I mean? I like to take it my way. Just scrub pretty hard on it. Now this probably wasn't the best time for me to do these shoes. At least probably not the best hour. Because you know I kinda practiced them about like 30 minutes. These are gonna be nice and wet for me. Now with how many games I play with these, I'm not gonna get them spotless. It's pretty hard to get them spotless, so you're gonna have to get you know, like those random guys that walk up to you in your malls and like, hey, you want your shoes clean? Charge you like 30 bucks. So you're like, no. One time in English class, Anthony taught me to wash my shoes, so just tell him that. You kind of see the difference here. There, there. This one kind of looks, say this one's like in the sun more, it's a little bit more tan. This was like winter when you're not tan. This one, a bit cleaner on the bottom. This one, definitely not clean on the bottom. That's the difference between these two. That's how you clean your shoes. Now that, now that I'm all finished up, it's time to take these out. Oh yeah. You're just gonna wanna scrub them a little bit. And these usually, I just let them air dry. Now that I hope, now I give you guys all tips so you guys aren't walking around in some fossilized shoes. Hope all you guys enjoyed the speech. I hope you guys all have a great day.